you guys, Mac only tutorials here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to do the Pleasantville effect in Final Cut Pro. So if you guys don't know what the Pleasantville effect is, go ahead and search on Google, watch the movie, or just follow along with this video. So go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro, import your clip, insert it, and double click on the clip so it shows up here. So what the Pleasantville effect is, is that we have our subject and the background. So the background is this part, and the subject's re the lemon. So what what the lemon is, it's going to stay the color, but the rest of the video is going to be black and white. So my shirt and the, everything else is going to be black and white, and the lemon's the only part that's going to have color. So it's a pretty cool effect, and easy to do, and it's pretty astonishing. So go ahead and click effects up here, video filters, color correction then color corrector three-way now what I like to do I like to drag color corrector three-way onto my desktop so we can see the changes in real time so we're not gonna be looking at anything here what we're gonna be looking at is the limit effect so go ahead and click that triangle that opens up the limit effect and we're gonna be looking at the saturation the, the limit effect bar the eyedropper tool and the invert selection say your saturation and your luma were on you would have to shut these off so now once you've done that what we're gonna do is that we're gonna select the eyedropper tool and we're gonna click the lightest part of the lemon since that's the part we want to have the color stay so go ahead and click it and as you guys can see the limit effect changed so but we have different various shades of yellow on this lemon so what we do to get all these different shades is that we hold down shift and we click the eyedropper so we keep on holding shift and clicking it so we get the different colors in our limit effect so press and hold shift while clicking the eyedropper tool and while still holding shift click the various shades of the color so I'm just gonna go ahead and click all these shades that we have here alright after you have a few good shades of the yellow go ahead and drop your saturation to nothing so now the lemon should be gray now you're probably thinking that I said that we're gonna keep the lemon with its color but don't worry we're gonna invert the selection which will change everything you guys will see so if you can't see these there are these little parts that are still not clicked so we're gonna go ahead and click them so I'm gonna zoom in here I'm gonna zoom in about 400 and we're gonna go up and you guys can see the little parts so go ahead and hold shift and click the eyedropper and click those parts so keep on going look for any other part that's still a little yellow looks like we got a green shade here But if you guys were doing this, you would be mostly, you know, looking for a lot of the different shades. But the, I'm gonna, just going to leave it there. I'm just going to fit it to the window again. And now, as you guys can see, we have it fully covered in gray. So now, here's the final and the last step. Now, what we're going to do, if your saturation and luma came back on, go ahead and click it off. and you guys can see this invert selection we're gonna go ahead and click that and now our lemon has its original color again and everything else is the is black and white so this is the Pleasantville effect it's a really cool effect and it's really easy and simple to do and this should teach you a little bit about the color corrector tool 
So I'm going to go ahead and render this and show you guys the final project. Alright guys, so it finished. We can exit out of our color corrector three-way. And our final project should show here. So I'm going to move the playhead all the way to the beginning. And let's play it. Alright guys, Mac only tutorials here and I'm just shooting some film so we can test out the Pleasantville effect. So this is our subject and hopefully this will be the only color in our video and the rest should be black and white. So this is a pretty cool effect. Alright, so it came out really good and hopefully this taught you a lot about the color corrector through a and how to do this and I hope that it was easy to follow along. And remember to rate, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned this week because we have a lot more Final Cut tutorials coming your way.